And you guys actually have quite a bit of momentum given the general dismissal of this campaign in the yeah, national and media. you haven't seen anything yet, Alex, because everything we've done, I'm an entrepreneur and operator, we have done everything on the cheap. But thanks to the Yang Gang, we raised $10 million last quarter, and you're going to see, after we have some resources to put to work, you're going to see us outperform the other campaigns and shock the world. How does Joe Biden only have $9 million and you're raising millions of dollars? What is that math about? Americans understand that we need to actually start solving the problems of the 21st century. You think it's the whole thing of like the no tie, the real talk, like that's what people want? Yeah, I, I mean, I'm, I'm not a politician, and so the fact that people can sense that I'm just like them, I'm a parent, like I'm not someone who's made a career in politics, and my interest in making a career in politics is moderately low. I'm for term limits. I think the fact that people make a career out of being in D.C. is not good for the, for the country. If the Democratic primary in 2020 is similar to the Republican primary in 2016, it means that Andrew Yang is Donald nominee. Trump and will be the nominee. Oh, well, Alex, one poll came out that said that I was one of the only candidates in the field that 10% or more of Donald Trump voters say they would support in the general. And the number one criteria that Democrats have for the nominee is beating Donald Trump. So when Dems realize that they have a candidate who can peel off hundreds of thousands of Trump voters and is one of the surest bets to beat him in 2020, that's when you'll see our poll numbers just climb and climb. Do you think you're going to be the Democratic nominee? Yeah, 100%. What doubts do you have? We have all of the pieces in place, and we've been doing everything on a shoestring this whole time. Uh, we're about to pour gas on the fire that is the Yang Yang.